Hey guys! This episode is about food, food, food! We've been eating so good in Berlin, like kings and queens. We've just been getting our eat on. The food is amazing, the standard is so high, the quality across the board is particularly good. We've been enjoying ourselves. Vietnamese food. I've become totally obsessed with it. I didn't realize Vietnamese was such a big deal in Berlin. It's everywhere and it's consistently good. I've yet to find a bad one, right? Yeah, I've always loved Vietnamese food. I didn't realize how much of it was here. My favorite Vietnamese place is HD Che. Yeah, another one is soy. Also so good. You really must check it out. And another one we've been going to a lot is called Satcha. It's actually Indian. And what's really cool, they have a temple inside the restaurant. That's, and the food is mind-blowing, amazing. And also some really cool coffee shops to eat, work, hang out. One of our favorites is Valadares in the Mobit area. And we've also had the best burgers in the world at a place yeah. called Attila Hildman. Berlin also happens to be one of the top vegan-friendly cities in the world. It's so easy to get amazing vegan food here. We were lucky enough to experience the Vegan Summerfest Berlin right at the end of summer. Yeah, it's a really cool festival. There was cool fashion stalls all about sustainability and live music and the food was really just great. There were so many options and it was just a really cool, lively atmosphere. Yeah, it was such a vibe. Here we are at Alexanderplatz for Berlin Vegan Summerfest 2018. It's the biggest veggie festival in the world. Yeah, there's such a cool vibe here. It's really, it's really awesome. And we are starving, so we're so excited to get in there. So much to choose from. We don't know where to start. amazing food here we wanted to try it all but there's only so much we could fit in if you ever find yourself in Berlin in August check out the vegan Summerfest Berlin Tents from exhibitors, food retail, 
annual rights of activities, etc. And then we have a, tent, a workshop tent, we have a tattoo tent, and we have a we have a lecture tent, and then we have a fashion show, and we have tons of bands. So it's very cool. We can have Big and Frankie cities in the world right now. Where, yes, yes. where are some of your favorite places to eat? Whoa, this changes, this changes quite a lot. I live in Kreuzberg, so I have uh, one of my favorite cafes is right in the corner. We call it Nomic Today, so this is a wonderful place to hang out in the afternoon and have a coffee and just uh, tons of cakes and meeting friends. So, for someone who's near in Berlin, what's a good way to find out what's available? Well, we have one, this is why I have this tiny wonderful man here. And it looks like the public transport system. And we dropped all the vegan places next to, to the next subway station. We have a wonderful app for all the vegan. And this is where you can just see all the reviews. And then we also have like vegan friendly places. And so if you download this from our website, it's a Berlin Vegan DE. And it comes in German and English. So if you want to learn German, you can do that. If you're familiar with English, just go ahead. <laughs> One thing we've been really enjoying about Berlin, uh, besides all the food and eating, is that it's such a creative and inspiring city. It's like you can feel it everywhere you go. And the next episode, we're really going to get into that and just share more about what we've been seeing. Yeah, there's been so much to do, so much to see. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. That look cool. Hit that. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe Hit button. That. <laughs>